Hello everyone and welcome back and today I will be doing a video on the effects tool, canvas tool, and the 3D library in Paint 3D. So let's get started. First of all, if you want to access the effects menu, you will need to select the effects tab up over here. Once you click that, the menu will pop up, this menu. And now you're going to have a bunch of colors that you can choose. So let's say I choose this, right? The effects, the effects tool, it basically changes the background. So not the canvas, but the background. So let's say I do this. This is the honey color. So you can see how different it looks. And this spinner right here, it's like where the sunlight, where the sunlight will be pointing. So th there's can, there's honey, there's candy, as you can see, there's candy. There's taffy, there's spearmint, there's sand, there's tan, there's honey, mist, aqua, sky, ca canterbury, spruce, stone, stratus, clay, day, Minecraft. So this is how the sky in Minecraft looks when it's day. Night Minecraft, so this is the sky color of... Minecraft when it's night. Underwater Minecraft. And so it's this color of Minecraft when you're underwater. Cave Minecraft. So this is how the light looks when you're in a cave. Nether Minecraft. This is how it looks when in Minecraft when you're in the nether. And the end. The end is another dimension in Minecraft and this is how the light looks. So, now that I have that covered, we can talk about the canvas tool. If you want to access the canvas menu, you have to click on this canvas tab up here, and I will bring you the menu. The canvas tool is, is, is a tool that shows what the canvas does. And if you, if you want to change stuff about it, this is a perfect tool to use. So, the first thing over here is show canvas. Show canvas is if the canvas is there or not. So if you have show canvas off, you will not you will not be able to use any of these other things for the canvas. But we need to keep it on so we can access everything else. The transparent canvas, as you might have guessed it, just makes the canvas transparent. It's still there, but it's just transparent. So if you so like if you if you want to put a shape on the back or on toward the canvas, but you don't want to see the canvas, you can you can make it like this. But for now I'll keep it on. This these two are how large so the width and the height of the canvas. So they did that's what they determine. So let's say I change it to 398. Very specific, right? <laughs> and then this will be 493. You see, it's like a little different. I'm not sure, but it, it looks like a resized the uh, canvas. So let's see, I have that. And then I have that. Yeah, just resize the canvas. Doesn't really matter. But this is aspect, aspect ratio. So this is like, I'm not 100% sure, but it just locks this aspect ratio thing. And then resize the image with canvas. So you can resize the image with the canvas. So as you can see. So how, how much you can see. So with the canvas, it also resizes it. Oh, and then there's this. Is how many pixels? And there's also the percentage. How much percent? For now, I'll keep that off. Now here's the rotate and flips. Flip buttons. So for the rotate and flip, this is um, ro rotate 90 degrees left, so it becomes like this, so portrait. And this is rotate 90 degrees to the right. This is, if you flip it, flip it horizontally. You can't really see it, because a canvas, it's just a square and it's hard to tell. And this is to flip it vertically. And you can't really see it like this either, so yeah. And now I'll move on to the 3D library. If you want to access the 3D library, you can either click on the 3D shapes tool and you'll find the button right here, or either you can click this and it'll bring up the 3D library. The 3D library is basically other things that the community has made. So let's just say let's just say there's these 
cool cars, right? So as all these load in, you'll find a bunch of a bunch of different cars that you can find, so different car designs. And I, I, I'm pretty sure that these, all these, so let's say I bring this on. Oh yeah, and this is how it looks when you click on it, and it'll bring it to the canvas. So as you can see, if I go into 3D view, these are like, this car, it's from a game called, um, I'm not 100% sure, it's called, I'm pretty sure it's called, um, Joyride Turbo, yes, Joyride Turbo. It's an old game, Xbox 360 game, and it's quite nice if you tell me. And now, we have this other car, Horizon Baja Car Silver. Yeah, quite a weird name, but this is what it is. And I, I'm pretty sure this is from the game Hor um, Forza Horizon. So, because that's an, that's what, I've, I have that game, and this is what the game looks like. This could be Forza Horizon, but it also could be another game. Like, it says Joyride. And connect, so it might be Dora Turbo as well. I'm not sure. So you have different things like that. Um, if I go back, um, you have like space. That's a space, right? So you have like different planets over here. You have like different probes. There's an astronaut, space shuttle, all of that, right? So yeah, and then animals. Yeah, animals. Just look at them. Look at how realistic the animals look. So if you want to use any of these animals, this would be the perfect tool to use or thing to use. <laughs> the sloth. Look how he's hanging. There's so much like mantis shrimp, komodo dragon, weasel, chicken. There's a chicken too. There is a koala bear, a lion, a ma Himalayan mounted goat. Wow. And the anglerfish, the ones that live deep down of the depths, depths of the ocean. Ooh, so scary. <laughs> okay, so that's most of 3D Paint reviewed. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Goodbye.